This is the quickest and most powerful way to manifest anything. Today I'm going to reveal to you the true meaning of imagining creates reality, the Neville Goddard way. And I'll share a couple exercises for you to try too. Cool? Let's do this. All right, first things first. Yes, imagination does create reality. But here's the thing. Not everything you think about manifests, right? So what the heck is going on then? Here's why. Ready? It's because a thought, which is only an idea, produces nothing. A thought produces nothing. However, and this is a secret, a thought that is felt, listen, reproduces itself. You got it? A thought that's not felt won't do jack, okay? But a thought that is felt will manifest. So you can visualize your desires for freaking hours. But if you're not thinking feelingly, yo, you're wasting your stinking time. That's why Neville calls imagination spiritual sensation, which goes beyond just thinking of something. But you're able to see, touch, taste, smell, and hear things that are not physically present, which will then what? Make them real in your outer world. Okay, so how do you do it? Because some people say they have a hard time feeling it real. Let me show you how easy it is. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to close your eyes right now. Do that for me. Now, I want you to imagine holding a long-stemmed rose in your hand. You got it? Feel its soft, velvety petals gently between your fingers. Now smell it, its fragrance. It's nice, right? It's a trip because I'm guessing for most of you, there aren't any roses in the room. But you can smell it. Its fragrance is somehow in the air. You can't say it's nothing. You can't pick up a distinct scent of nothing or feel the softness of nothing. So what does this mean? That it exists. That it's real. And you know what else this means? You're going to get a rose. I'm not saying it's going to magically appear out of thin air. But what I am saying is that in its own strange way, you're going to get one. The same rose you saw, touched, and smelled. Why? Because it works that way. What you feel in your imagination first will later become a physical fact. Straight up. Here's more to try. Close your eyes again. Pick up the scent of your favorite cologne or perfume. Smell fresh laundry. Smell fresh bread. Bite into a nice, big, juicy lemon. Taste and feel peanut butter on the roof of your mouth. Now feel a rubber ball in your hand and squeeze it. Feel a piece of silk. Next, I want you to feel, and you'll love this one, your fingers scratching really, really hard across a chalkboard. I'm just playing. <laughs> I had to do it. I'm sorry. No, I'm not. But you get the point. You see, it's easy. And you can do this with anything. Now go manifest your desires this way. Seriously. For example, you want a new car? Feel what it would feel like to have it. Feel yourself sitting in the exact model that you want. Smell the leather seats or whatever material you like. Grip the steering wheel and see the company logo on it and feel... I own this. In other words, aim for that mood, that feeling that it's already yours. You want a vacation on the other side of the world? Feel what it would feel like to be there. Hear a voice saying to you, welcome to, and fill in the country of your choice. Feel yourself standing in front of their famous sites taking pictures. Or let's say you desire money. Money has a unique odor and texture to it, right? So smell it. Feel yourself counting a lot of crisp bills in your hands. Or if your money is purely digital, okay then. No need to complicate this. Imagine how you typically see your money. Feel your phone in your hand, pressing the buttons, excited to open your bank app. Then see the amount you want to see. And feel the abundance. That's it. And look, if for whatever reason you have a hard time imagining something clearly, it's all good, dude. Remember, the feeling is the secret. The feeling of what again? That what you want is already yours. So if you're able to experience that, you're good to go. And of course, you got to remain in your desired state, okay? And persist in it until it feels natural. Until it feels natural. 
That's what people forget. Then just watch. In a way you can't even think of, the physical will follow automatically because you get what you believe. Yeah. Alrighty, guys, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button to help support this channel and the bell right next to it to be notified of my next video. I pump these out every single week so you don't want to miss them. If you're listening via podcast, I'd really appreciate a review. It gets more people to discover my work and, of course, I've spread this message. If you're new to LOA or manifesting, then go register for my free online training. That'll seriously help you to start creating the life you really want right now. So check it out. The link's in the description. Like I always say, more's coming. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.